Hi guys, what up? It's Lexi here and we are going to be still continuing this bonus chapter. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and say this, that um, at the time I'm going to be recording this video, there is nearby construction going by, um, you know, for a place. So I hope nobody hears anything, but if you do, it like banging or anything like that, it is just because of what is going on nearby. But anyways, um, we started to explore this and we still need two more of these. Um, we need a flower shaped key and we need to hit this with something heavy, but I don't, oh, actually the stone. There we go. Now I think we can go back to, oh, it's raining. Uh, we can go here and put the final cap here. And now we have the flower shaped key and we can go put it on the other thing. In this book. I think this is the judge's book actually. The judge was insane. Let's see. Their world has gone mad. It's Sodom and Grandma all over again. Why have laws if we're going to let murderers and Satanists walk free? I can't bear this any longer, but we're criminals of Riverdale. I am now judge, jury, and executioner. I'll prove it tonight by freeing our town of one of our kind. The last thing he'll see before he dies will be his expression of horror reflected in my iron mask. Oh, shoot. The judge got affected by the iron mask? Oh, no. Dude. What am I doing with these keys? Am I putting the... No? What am I doing? I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing with these keys. Oh. So we got handcuffs for this. Now we just need the thingy. So I think we can go to the roof and get this with this. And now we can put the last place in there and see what happens. So this must have been the judge's office, I'm guessing. Can the mask be destroyed? I tried to get rid of the mask again. I threw it into a furnace that meant steel, but my efforts, but my efforts were in vain. When I returned home, the mask was sitting on the very table on which I created it. Why does this mask keep returning to my house by the lake? Wait a minute. Is he the one behind this? The judge tried to get rid of the mask, but his efforts were in vain. What is happening to me? I'm changing. Black rust is devouring my soul. I dreamed about the dead Mr. Black last night. He scowled and told me to follow him into the fiery woods. It's the mask. I know it is. Its magic has turned me into a merciless beast that craves blood. Ew. need a key so we need to find a key this is where i need to enter the code what code though i'm done looking for keys give me some dynamite okay um So, looks like we can go back to the roof. Oh, this is the key. Got it. Matches, and this is the code. So this, this, and then this. Okay. There we go. 
The Joes committed a crime. Perhaps the irony of his actions gave the mass its mythical, mystical powers. Woe is me. People fear my hand of justice. I wanted to bring them peace, but thought them terror instead. Doubt plagues me as well. I killed a man last night and it inspired me. What will become of me? Will I become a monster like those I judge to be guilty? Okay, so it sounds like the judge is the one behind the creation of the mask and started to discover how evil truly the mask was. This can't be true. The judge was my grandfather. He created the mask. <gasps> what? Four years ago, my granddaughter was born. Her name is Annie, and I love her with all my heart. I don't want her to know what a cruel monster her grandfather is, so I'm going to end this nightmare once and for all. I'm going to leave town, but first I'm going to hide the mask in the family home. I hope the children ever find this minister of dark vengeance. If you guys hear bumping, that's the construction I was just talking about. So just to let y'all know, I'm sorry I can't do anything about the bumping if you hear it or whatever. It's just because of the construction. It's annoying, but I mean, they do what you gotta do. This is a picture of me and my grandfather. I remember much about him. I was four years old when he disappeared. Holy smokes, this is the guy that said get out in the thing. Oh my god, we gotta go back. We're gonna have to go back. What? The judge is my grandfather. He wanted to destroy the mask. I need to go back to his house and show him this painting. He's gonna feel so bad when we tell him that I'm the grand that we're the grandchild. What a change of events. Um I honestly don't remember what I last read, but I'm gonna read these last three things. Um, the door to the courthouse was locked, but I managed to find the unlock code. I read all the documents and learned that the judge created the mask to be able to render justice in Riverdale. He thought he would be able to make the city a safer place, but the mask turned him into a monster instead. So, so Annie, the character that we're playing as right now, her grandfather basically created the mask and is behind all of this. Incredible. The, mas the man in the iron mask is my grandfather. He was afraid of putting our family to shame, so he left town. He tried many times to get rid of the mask, but each time it returned to the lake house. The only thing I can do is leave the mask in the secret place and then burn down the house. Wow, so we're going to have to go back to the house now? I'm guessing... No, actually... We can do something in the square. Okay, I guess we're doing a hidden object scene. I'm not sure if I said this before or not, but I'm honestly not sure how long this bonus chapter is. But I'm gonna keep doing it until the end. Yeah, you guys are probably going to hear a lot of bumping and slumping and all that junk. I can't really do too much about it. I'm sorry. Because even if, if I were to go to a different place and try to film or whatever right now, you would still be able to hear it. So, my bad. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to hear it. Um, or not. Or if it's faint. That's what it is. Where in the heck... Oh, found the pine cone. I was looking for that pine cone for the past minute. Okay, so we got a drum sock... Butterfly and a watch. I never noticed that this raven here in the corner moved. 
I honestly never noticed that it moved. I don't know if it did that in the game or not. But I never realized that that was moving. Is it like a wet, dirty sock or something? Because there's literally nothing here other than a glove that I see that looks like a sock and a tie. All I see is a glove and a tie, like a garden glove. Never mind, I see it. That literally almost entirely blended in. I was looking for more like a wristwatch, not like a pocket watch. You know what? I sometimes hate these games where they're specific but not specific. I know it's probably to make them harder, but honestly, I wish in some of these hidden object games, they would make finding the object specific because there are different types of the same object. So you really don't know which you are looking for. And I know it's probably like a trick of the eye thing, but that annoys me. Okay, so I guess let's go back inside the house and confront this man. That's our grandfather. Get out. No, you're the grand- you're our grandpa. What am I- oh, showing the picture. What? Where did you get this? You're our grandfather. I've been to your chambers, and I know who you are. You're my grandfather. I'm trying to serve just a tad bit. I'm so sorry. I wanted to rid our family of the evil I created. I've missed you and your brother. For 15 years, I've been scared and alone, but I can't hide anymore. Oh my gosh, so he came back to this house. Aww. Help me get rid of the mask. We must return the mask to where it was made, our house by the lake. Then we need to burn it. Place the mask back in the cache and set that damn house on fire. I'll wait outside. Um. So it looks like we gotta go to the pass. Um. Oh, to open this. Okay. Okay. And I think we're supposed to. We have matches, but we need lighter fluid. Okay, um, I think this might be towards the end, so I'm honestly just probably just going to play um, this until the end. Because from what I remember, I think this is kind of getting towards the end. I think this is like the kind of end of the bonus chapter a little bit. So I'm just going to try and see if I can win this into one video. So that I don't have to split this into two parts. Because that would kind of obviously honestly be a little annoying. Aw, there's the same little mouse in the corner. Um, poster of a girl. Poster of a girl? I never noticed that that hand moved either. Oh my god, I did not realize there was one more object. Shoot. Found it. Okay. Um. What am I doing? Am I supposed to place these here?
Um, where am I supposed to... Oh, good grief. Okay. I might have to speak this up. Arrange the tokens in such a way that the adjacent symbols match. To rotate a token, click on it with your right mouse button. just gonna skip it because I don't know why but I don't know I'm not gonna worry about it what am I doing okay I might need a second for this hold on um I'm just gonna take a guess apparently the puzzle before I did not realize I was doing that completely re completely wrong. I am so confused. What am I doing? Okay, got it. Sorry, I had a look at the strategy guide to figure out what the heck I was doing. But apparently, the last puzzle with the chest, I was doing it completely wrong. I thought you had to sort it on the side. But it turned out you had to put, like, the pieces within that middle part and adjust them that way. Um, I probably should have looked at the guide before I skipped that puzzle. But, oops. Alright, let's blow this sucker up. Okay, I guess apparently that was it. I honestly thought there was going to be a little bit more of a thing by that, but apparently it looks like hopefully that will be the end of the mask. And we have completed the bonus chapter and elect trivia and media content. Um, okay, so we have different concept art characters, wallpapers. I actually really like this concept art of some of the different scenes and apparently we have trivia. But I'm gonna roll these credits because that is the complete game. Now I, like I just said before, I should have looked at the guide first with um, the treasure puzzle because I ended up skipping it because of the fact I got confused. But I really don't see too many people play this particular game. 
And honestly, it has become one of my favorites to play every now and then because it is just so great. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the full main game and the bonus mini bonus chapter with me of the mask being destroyed, like, you know, and having to go back and destroying the mask and discovering about her grandfather. It was a really nice touch. And um, it honestly would have been really cool if they made a follow up game. Um, I don't think there ever will be a follow up game to this, but I mean, it would have been cool to kind of see that in a way. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough of both parts. And um, I will see you guys soon with another Let's Play. Don't forget to like, comment on my videos, and subscribe to my channel. And hit the bell to get notified for when I post new videos. Thank you guys for tuning in. Bye.